Hi Scorpio, I'm Letitia with Letitia.com and I am here with your reading for the first half of June 2019 and first I'm going to talk astrology and then I'm going to uh, come in and pull some tarot cards and see what spirit has to add to the reading today. So first off we have on June 3rd 2019 we have uh, the new moon in the sign of Gemini. So for you, this is happening in an area of um, resources that you have. So if it is that you have been looking for a loan, any sort of loan, if you have clients that pay you, this is an area um, where you have a fresh reset coming in for you. Also, uh, your sex life is um, a part of this area. So you may find that um, there is a newness, there is a playfulness for you with your sex partner as you um, explore new things. Or Gemini is all about um, gathering knowledge and information and experiencing new things. Um, so this could be something that is coming in for you in this area regarding the new moon on the um on the third on the night of the third at 8 p.m central standard time which is 9 p.m eastern i will be hosting a live new moon ceremony on instagram and you can check me out at lb Hinton 1MS, and I would love for you to join. We're going to talk more in detail about each sign and how you'll be affected by the um, by the new moon. But there's a very beautiful energy that we have. Then we have, on the 5th, we have a Mercury moving into the sign of Cancer. So for you, this is an area having to do with long-distance travel. It has to do with... Um, legal issues it has to do with higher education and um, it has to do with teaching and professorship so with mercury coming in here into the side of cancer for you this could give you um, a quickness of mind as it relates to these issues if you are working on that degree um, this could give you just a boost up in your mind ability to uh, write those long papers have that due diligence in uh, writing a novel if you're writing a novel this gives you that ability that strength the fortitude to write what would take a longer period of time because with cancer Though it is a cardinal sign, it is water, it is, uh, there is a fixed nature to it, you know, there is an ability to stay with something for a longer period of time. So you have with Mercury coming in here and then the moon is coming in here on the same day on the 5th. You have this energy that is more focused on um, being more sensitive and more compassionate and more nurturing in what you are saying and writing on those higher levels you could find if you have legal issues happening you could find that there is a a, a woman or a, it doesn't have to be a woman but someone who has that mothering and nurturing energy that is there to support you that is there to help you through the legal issues if you need to move long distance you could find that you are moving to a place if your mother has moved away she's moved to a place that is different from where you grew up where you were raised you can find that you are, are going to your mother because we have the north node of the moon there we have mars sitting there as well so we have all of this energy that is coming in here for you uh towards uh, legal issues and and mothering and nurturing and uh being away from what is necessarily traditional uh what it is that you grew up with so you are moving to an area where you could find nurturing by people who are of a different culture this is an area where you could meet people with different belief systems. And so you could find that you are, um, are being drawn to those people and to that area, a different area. But in that area, you feel nurtured, you feel mothered, you feel safe, you feel loved. Okay. 
So those are some, some things that could happen for you with this move. And then we have on the 10th, we have uh, Venus moving into the sign of Gemini. She's been in Taurus uh, in your area of love and bringing you new love energy. Uh, but on the uh, 10th, she's going to move into this area of resources for you, of the people's resources. Um, sex, like we talked about. So sex for you could become very much more intimate. Even though Venus in Gemini is not... Uh, she doesn't show up as sensually as she does in Taurus, as her that's her home sign, but she is uh, still very sensual, just her nature. So with you there, you know, you could be sharing these conversations about uh, what intimacy means to you with your partner, if you have one. Um, sorry about that. If not, then you could, if you don't have a partner, you could... Um, as, as it relates to sex, you could just be exploring it in your mind. Gemini is very mental. You could be exploring what intimacy really means to you, even beyond sex, being vulnerable and showing yourself to another person. What does that mean? Um, as it relates to income, you know, this could be a huge blessing for you as far as if you are trying to get a loan. Um, the new moon is here, right? So uh, we have Venus here. So if you are trying to, to borrow some money of any sort or if you need someone just may just gift you money because Venus is this beneficent planet. So what could just say, you know, you are on my heart. I just want to give you $100. I want to give you $200, $1,000. You could win the lottery even, you know, because this area is eighth house. It's a speculative house. It's a risk-taking house. Uh, it's the house of the law of attraction. So maybe you are um, believing and putting your energy towards gaining resources with Venus here for you. This brings in great energy uh, in this area. On the same day, the moon will be in the sign of Virgo. So on that particular day, and for a couple of days around it, that could be just a lot of uh, mental energy because Mercury rules both uh, Gemini and Virgo, so it could be just a lot of mental energy happening where it is kind of detached, not very uh, emotionally deep, and that's okay because sometimes we need a break from that. Scorpio, you're very um, deep and deep thinking and diving deep and uh, able to look into the dark, but you know, sometimes it's nice to be lighter to give yourself a break if you can. So we have that happening. And then on the 12th, we have Mars in your, um, in the ninth house in this area of uh, long distance travel and so forth that we've discussed. So Mars is there and it will be standing across the sky from the south node of the moon. And the south node is in an area for you that is uh, having to deal with your cousins and siblings and your community. Um, so with Mars standing across the sky, there can be a, uh, a, a releasing, a letting go, a shedding of a relationship and between a sibling and a cousin. There can be um, the idea of what community is. It could be having an overhaul, but there definitely would be probably tension, uh, anger, frustration because Mars is involved and there is an opposition. And then two days later on the 14th, Mars will stand directly across from Saturn. So Mars and uh, Saturn, um, this is a very dynamic, combustible opposition. Saturn is asking us to face our fears. So for you, it is fears around community. It is fears around siblings. Um, communication, what you are saying, um, being closed off necessarily about what you feel, hiding what you feel. Um, and so with Mars coming in here, this could absolutely bring in a, uh, a moment between uh, family members, siblings, the community, where there is something that comes to the table that boils up to the top 
as it relates to frustration about um, something that could have happened between uh, you and the siblings or the cousins or the community or something that was done to you, some misunderstanding, and Saturn is here asking you to face the fears. Asking you to face your fears and your concerns about this boldly. And when all of the smoke clears, the truth will be out and told and you will be able to speak things more clearly and you will have had a release and feel like a burden has been lifted off of your shoulders regarding this area. Okay. And so uh, with that, let's just go ahead and we're asking you, Spirit, to speak to the Scorpios for the first half of June 2019. Share a word of wisdom, knowledge, and strength. What will be happening? What is the energy that will be in, around them for the first half of June for the Scorpios? For the Scorpios. June, first half of June 2019. Yeah, so we have uh, three cards that have come out. And they, this is the African-American tarot deck that I'm using. So we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this has to do with home. It has to do with finances. It has to do with increasing that area. And that's what we talked about. Uh, Venus coming into that, um, that area for you where with your clients, with the Eighth House, with, with being able to receive a loan or even winning the lottery. So this is on offer for you but at the same time there is um, a loss that is happening you know, tied to that letting go tied to that letting go that release and there are hurt feelings involved clearly hurt feelings involved hurt feelings involved but there is this is the higher thought there is a stability, there is a stableness, there is a there is some wisdom to be gained throughout the whole uh, ordeal. So as life is, right, we, we have the good and the bad that are happening oftentimes simultaneously. It's never just all the way bad and it's never just all the way good. This is just a part of being in this human incarnation. You know, we have the challenges happening um, with the beauty. So you have some, some good money coming in. I, oh, thankful for that. But then there is a painful loss that is happening. But we have the Ace of, of Swords coming in. There is a new way of thinking, a new way of seeing, a new way of being. The Eight of Cups. So you are walking away when you get this new way of seeing things. Yes, this happened. Heartbroken. Heartbroken. Five of Cups, some loss, emotional loss and pain, but you're walking away from it. You're walking away. You have a new thought, a new idea coming in with Venus and Gemini, new moon and Gemini, a, a new idea. You're walking away from that pain because this, this moon in Gemini is about being lighthearted and shedding. Uh, those things that have been painful and you are walking away walking away from that which is uh, heartbreaking and painful and this is you Scorpio coming to a place of emotional stability this is the king of cups this is Scorpio Pisces or cancer this represents you the water uh, and you bring your emotions to a place of peace ultimately in the first half of June. Okay, my name is Leticia. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like a private reading with me, I have all the information listed below. Thank you.